What up folks, it's Alex, it's Friday, which can only mean one thing, it's five minute Friday. And today I'm gonna to show you a really simple, really easy, adjustable and reusable screen pump effect within DaVinci Resolve. You can put it in a power bin and then you just grab it out as an adjustment clip, use it in any project going forward. I do talk about power bins in this video, so if you don't know what they are, click on this video linked above to learn more about power bins. Now in this video, we're gonna focus on doing this to music because that's a common usage for it. However, you can use these for product shots, B-roll, vlogs, whatever, where you want to add some quick zoom in emphasis to something. We're gonna demonstrate this using video files, but you can do this with text, photos, fusion files, whatever you want. With that out of the way, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the edit tab. Now, as you can see, I've already got my audio track on audio one and I've got some video files on my video one. Now, if you look at my audio, you can see I've got my waveforms enabled, so you can see those there. If you can't see those, all you need to do is click on this icon here and then this one in the top right to enable your waveforms. Now this first step is completely optional, it's up to you, but what I like to do is add markers where the beats are and it just makes life a little bit easier so you can track the beat that you're trying to edit to. So if we just hit play, when you get to a beat, I know there's one here, we can just put the playhead where we want it and then hit the M key with the track selected and it'll just put a little marker there. If we play forward, there's another beat there, so we'll do a marker. There's two there, so we'll do and that's one, and that's one. Now obviously with certain tracks it's easier and more difficult to follow. This one's actually really easy, so we can do this in real time. If we just hit play, and there we go. Now the next quick tip, hit the N key on your keyboard, or you can click on this magnet here to turn the snapping off and it just gives you a little bit more accuracy with your playhead so you can get these screen pumps exactly where you want them. So then we can start to add our screen pump effect. So we're gonna click on effects library. We're gonna go down to the toolbox and expand that, effects and then grab an adjustment clip. Now you wanna put this to start on this first beat and to end at the start of the next beat, right there. So I'm gonna move my playhead, give it a click, do so control and B to add a cut and then I can just use backspace to delete that adjustment clip. Now with the adjustment clip selected, go to the inspector and then just turn on dynamic zoom. Don't change any of the settings, just leave it be. And then if we hit play, we've got this really simple, easy to do screen pump effect. Now if you give the adjustment clip a click, click on this drop down here and then select dynamic zoom you can change the strength of the screen pump. So I'd recommend leaving the red one where it is, but if you change the green box, if you make the green box smaller, you'll have a stronger screen pump. If you make it bigger, you'll have a lesser effect. That seems to work the best for me, but it's entirely up to you. And then if we hit play, we've got this nice screen pump effect. Now, if we give the adjustment clip a click, again, within the inspector, we can call this screen pump in the name field, and then we can drag this into a power bin so it's there ready to use in any other projects in the future. So we've only got one at the moment, so we're just gonna go through and start adding these to the beat of the music. Now, all you need to do, hold the Alt key on your keyboard, drag the screen pump over, and you'll make a duplicate like so. So then we can just put the next one here because there's a beat there. The next beat is there, so let's trim that. Make another duplicate to the next beat, like so. It doesn't matter the length, they'll just adjust accordingly. So you can just go through, making these as you need to. Let's keep going for a little bit, something like that. And now if we hit play at the beginning, this is the effect. But of course, these are just adjustment clips. So what you can actually do as well is to add additional effects to create different looks. So I'm gonna click on this first one here. I'm gonna go down to the toolbox again, but this time open effects, scroll right down, have a play with these, just use whatever you think, but there's a few that I know work well. So I'm gonna grab this prism blur and drag this onto this screen pump here. And you get this sort of blurred effect. With that selected, open the inspector, 
go to the open effects tab and then you've got the prism blur settings if we turn the blur strength down just a little bit, I want a little bit, but not too much. And then the aberration distance and strength, you can have some fun with this. So if you increase the strength and increase the distance, you can get an almost RGB edging sort of effect. And then if we hit play, it can work really well with the screen pump effect. And then what you can do, call this one screen pump with prism add that to a power bin. Next one, let's try adding something else. Flicker edition works well. So we're gonna drag that one on there. And if we hit play, you've got those flashing lights. So again, name this one, screen pump with flicker, power bin. Mess around, find these different screen pump and additional effects that work well. Add them to your power bin, they're there, ready to use in the future. Any music track you want to do, drag them out of there, build up your screen pump as you go. And it's as easy as that. And that's it, easy as that. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, smash them down into the comments below. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next time, take care. See ya.